Good morning everybody. We're outside for our eight mile run on Saturday and the temperatures are much better. It's like 72 I think right now and it's not getting much hotter today at all so definitely a good day for running or anything like that. A lot of nice cool breezes in the air so definitely a nice day for an eight mile run. It's just trying to keep it uh, relatively easy so again we don't overdo it for the 17 mile run tomorrow and if the temperatures stay like this it'll be a much better 17 mile run this week than the 16 mile run last week that was just a little bit warm. I'm wearing my uh, Asics Glide Ride, the first ones. Uh, actually the only pair I've ever had, they've still been going strong and they have I think around 250 miles on them. We'll double check when we get home. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a decent shoe, it's heavy, but I liked it. I used to use it for my long runs uh, last year and I think even the year before. So still sticking with the Glide Ride one and uh, let's see how it gets the job done today. miles done. Uh, it's a little sticky out, still a little humid, but um, I can't complain. It's nothing compared to last week. So I'll wring out my clothes, go inside, shower, call it a morning, and then we'll get breakfast. YouTubers, me, huh?
Sunday today uh, we're gonna do our 17 mile long run so I'm just gonna go out and do it at this point it's a really nice 68 degrees right now the humidity is still up I looked it up yesterday it's still gonna be like 88 percent humidity so there's no relief from the humidity here the humidity here in New York um, but we're just gonna go get our run done I'm thankful for the cooler temperatures uh, still have our backpack here with water. I've got, I think, five gels with me for uh, for the long run. Uh, and I'm going to take them about every 30 minutes um, just to stay fueled and everything. That's generally what I do during the marathon as well. So we're going to practice that same fueling method during our, our long runs now. Um, I do use a different gel. I know that the Morton gels work for me for the marathon itself, but I, I've been using these Huma gels for uh, training runs. So Still a good idea to practice with the same gels you're going to use during the race, but um, at this point I know which ones do work for me, which work for my stomach. Um, so I'm not going to start to use those until the very end, uh, just because they are a little more expensive too. So, um, you know, once you know something works for you, I've in my experience, it's, you know, it works out on race day again, uh, unless something drastically changes either with you or the ingredients in the gel. So let's go get our long run done and then we'll talk about the whole weekend recap when we get home. It may not be too hot, but I don't know if you can see like the gray color that these were white before I started, more like this white. All this gray is just completely soaked with sweat. So the humidity is definitely still out here to get you, even if it's not as hot. Oh wow. All right, we're back home. Yesterday I mentioned Greta's Gallop is one of the races like throughout my uh, start of running. Still have the shirt here. Just needed to change out of that other yellow one, which was a shirt from Manhattan seven mile race. Um, just another New York Roadrunners race. Um, but yeah, just uh, was really sweaty. Uh, I think I mentioned before, it's just like no matter what the temperature is right now with the humidity, it's still, um, it kind of comes up to bite you. Um, like by surprise because I feel pretty good um all the way uh, it's an out and back so for the first like eight and a half miles out um I felt pretty good uh, I was comfortable I think I actually like started to to speed up a little bit too much like I started to drop my pace closer to like 9 30 um probably just because I was getting excited to get to the end that I was going to you know turn around um and then uh you know I slowed down uh, pretty good back down to like 10 minutes per mile um, because my legs were starting to get sore and things so probably just speeded up a little bit too much but still I don't I don't think I, I I was going faster than I thought like still around 10 minutes per mile when my legs were were pretty tired um, and yeah I think just the humidity gets to you and also because of the humidity I'm carrying and going through like two liters of water um, literally for uh, like because I'm you know for my size again I've mentioned like I lose like eight pounds of water weight even when I'm putting back in like two liters of water on these kinds of hot or humid days um, so I don't know I have to weigh it when I get inside I'm going to weigh the backpack full of water and I'd imagine it's it's like running with a 15 pound or something uh, weighted vest on you so I'd be interested to see how heavy it actually is, but I think that's part of like why it's it's harder right now to go out, get a long run in. The humidity is still coming after me. The heat can be still hot, you know, throughout this whole week. It was in the 90s, um, and especially for the long run, if I'm carrying 15 pounds on my back, um, it certainly doesn't help. So we'll check it out inside. But overall, uh, it's a good run. 17 miles are done. Um, and I'll have to check inside when we just kind of close everything out and wrap up a, a summary for the weekend, what we're looking at for next week. So after taking a look at my calendar for next week, it looks like we actually do have kind of a cutback um, in a sense. I actually have a scheduled um, half marathon, um, so I don't actually have a race scheduled. Uh, it's still pretty difficult to find in-person races. I don't think there's that many local races these days because of the pandemic that's still kind of ongoing. Um, so I do just have kind of a, a plan to run, you know, 13.1 miles at a quicker pace than usual. Um, I'll probably stick to something around like, 
you know, maybe nine minutes a mile, something just under nine minutes a mile for 13.1 miles. Um, that way I have some, you know, experience. I mean, that's the plan of the training block, have experience with um, something closer to a marathon pace for 13.1 miles before then the next week the, the mileage is going to increase again. So that's what it's going to be. Um, still have to figure out the details of how I want to do it. If I want to just do it with the backpack and things, that's why it's a little tough to, to say I'm going to actually race at, you know, 13.1 um, without a course that's actually running a half marathon because I'm going to have to figure out my own hydration, my own gels and things like that. So um, if I bring my backpack, I should be able to comfortably run around nine minutes a mile, which is quicker, still doable with the gear and things that I'm going to have to bring on my own. Um, and uh, yeah, that would be something that I do out on Sunday uh, this coming week. So everything else for this weekend, you know, is a wrap. I'm actually happy with the way my legs feel. Um, and that's kind of more of the progression that I'm going to start to hopefully see um, versus like a pace increase because you got to remember your legs are still getting tired as you continue to build up the mileage and build up the long runs and training. You're not going to see a huge jump in you know performance or anything while you're just doing training runs. So more so the fact that I'm getting out for 17 miles plus eight miles on Saturday and my legs are feeling like they're recovering really comfortably that I can walk around no problem on, you know, Sunday. And then especially as I go into Mondays, um, generally I'm able to go right back into the next week of training. So that's how it should feel. I'm happy about how that's going, how I'm feeling, how my legs are staying healthy, um, not feeling any pain in joints or ankles or anything like that. So it's a good sign. And, um, you know, we'll just hope it continues that way. I hope everyone had a good training weekend and I'll see you in the next video.